Beraz, etxera, buentatzeko, agirroa, egonen, izan They gave people three hours to get out of Barcelona on Saturday. Yesterday? Yeah, yesterday. Yeah. Or maybe it was Friday. Like, yeah, if you don't live in Barcelona, you had three hours to get out. Yeah. Yeah, it's fucked up. So imagine, like, you've just arrived on holiday on Saturday morning. And you've got a hotel for a, like a long weekend. You have to get out. Yeah. Maybe you can't even get a flight back straight away. So what are you going to do? Where are you going to go? Yeah. You have to spend money on, on another place. Yeah, yeah. And I didn't see. I yeah. Didn't see uh, I didn't see any police. They're not coming. No, nah, not this way. I didn't see any police uh, at all. Here. I feel like I'm on a different planet now. The earth that I have grown up on and lived my entire life is alien to me. And uh, yeah, I'm showing you all these pictures now because this was a wonderful time that I was having earlier in the year. And suddenly it became, well, this. This kind of panic buying in the supermarkets. Places empty, all the meat, all the washing stuff, all the hand towels and all that kind of thing gone all the cleaning stuff well not all of it but quite a lot all the meat there look just gone empty gone yeah it's frightening it's weird and then this the next day this very morning in fact this emptiness this weird quietness it's unsettling and disquieting nobody around on a day when it's normally so hectic and so busy it really is like something out of a horror film like 28 days later or World War Z or something. I'm half expecting to be smashing zombies' heads in soon with a baseball bat. Which reminds me, I need to go and buy one of those. And I just don't know where this is all heading. You know, right now, they're saying you have to stay indoors. And that's the reason why we had to move in the end. The police came around and told us that if we didn't have a fixed address in Bilbao or the surrounding area, then we had to move on. We had to leave the city. We were effectively evicted from the city. And I understand there's a, there's a scare, and I have this sense of fear, but I'm not scared. It's just a really strange kind of jumble of feelings and emotions going on right now. But this place that we've been used to for the last couple of weeks, and it's been a great home, suddenly now also feels very alien. So it was with kind of sadness a great deal of sadness, in fact, that we all packed up and got ready to leave and, uh, and said our farewells, which was, yeah, it was upsetting, very, very upsetting. So uh, here we go anyway, this is, uh, this is the last moments before we leave this place. Just over my shoulder there is Shirley, she's getting ready to go, she's going to be leaving in a second. There's Ben, he's just trying to decide whether he's going to go 16 hours or 11 hours driving back to Belgium. And me, I have no idea what I'm going to do. I'm going to go and get some diesel and then I'm going to check out my map and, uh, and just see where I can go. I have no idea, but this is, this is just the freakiest time ever. The police have been around saying that uh, we have to leave now and as from tomorrow they're going to start finding people who are out in the open and not going shopping or going to work or going to get diesel or whatever so yeah it's just it's weird as fuck check this place out now just check it there's literally nothing no one no one at all and this is super busy on a sunday normally this is just crazy insane it's freaking me out it's actually freaking me out but anyway i'm gonna get in my van Kenny, he's ready. He's ready to go. Rust's inside. She's all ready as well. Check her out. Looking kind of freaked out. Oh, no, she's, she's chilling. She's chilling. She's chilling. Bless her. Yeah. We're going to go traveling. We're all feeling a bit sad and weird and stuff. But yeah. Anyway, I'll give you an update when I get the other end. Ciao for now. I drove for two hours, but I had no desire to record the journey. I think we've seen enough of that recently. Well, it's, uh, it's been an exceedingly rare time and uh, I've, just, uh, I've just driven for a couple of hours from Bilbao. I've gone inland quite a way and uh, well, I'm a 
show you where I've arrived. I quite like it here. I think I'm only gonna probably stay for one night and then I'm gonna head to the Picos. But for now, this place is, yeah, it's kind of cool. It's kind of interesting. And uh, yeah, I don't know, we'll see. It's very, very quiet. Everywhere is weird. There's just nobody. I've seen probably about 10 people on my entire journey. And it's a very, very odd sensation. Um, yeah, it just feels like so many apocalyptic movies have happened. Uh, maybe I've seen too many of them and my mind's going into overtime. But uh, for now, I'm just gonna chill here. I'm gonna get something to eat in a second. Rust's out exploring. She's, she's doing her doggy thing, as you can see. And uh, yeah, well, we'll see how it goes. So I'm settling in for the night now, but maybe tomorrow I will make another video, another quick video, just to kind of update on what's been happening and, um, and see how things are when I get to where I'm headed. I'm going up into the mountains. I'm going to stay here for one night only. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to rest. I just want to say a massive thank you for watching. Um, be good out there. Be careful. And uh, yeah, I'll get back to you soon. All right, take care. Be good, be happy. Keep on rolling.